Hi, my name is Maggie Rollins and I'm going to take you through my nighttime routine. My routine has changed a little bit over the past few months. I've spent the last three weeks in New York working as a nurse. I was a nurse before I started modeling and so I thought that this was kind of the perfect time for me to get back to New York and help out the city that has been so good to me over the past few years. So my skin kind of freaked out, I guess, wearing that mask for 12 hours a day, every day, and taking it off and Lysoling it and then wearing it again the next day. Um, my skin just did not handle it well and I already have combination skin as it is. So I'm gonna kind of take you through what I've been doing to get my skin back on track. And to anyone who is there working or has been working, whether you're a doctor or a nurse, a respiratory therapist, whether you're you know, serving meals in the cafeteria or helping keep all of the rooms clean, I'm just so appreciative and grateful for you. So thank you. Okay, so I'm fresh out of the shower. And the first thing that I do, and I know that this is bad, but I go to bed with wet hair every night. I know you're not supposed to, but I've been doing it since I was a little girl and it's worked for me and I've been fine. So I use this all-in-one milk. It's my favorite. I'm actually almost out of it. Um, but I put this all in my hair. I mean, I do not hold back. And it smells so good. That is how I start, is with my hair. That keeps it nourished, it hydrates it, and it keeps it from getting super tangly. The second thing that I do, well, I guess before, is I use this, just a cleansing water, to take off any eye makeup that I have. I've already done this, especially if I'm coming home from a long day of work on set and I have on heavy eye makeup, this is a must-have. Then I will cleanse with Cetaphil. This is also a favorite of mine. I get the big bottle from CVS and refill these tiny ones so then I can travel with them. If I am working and I have a lot of makeup, I'll double cleanse. So I'll wash my face twice with Cetaphil. And that's what I've been doing recently, getting home from the hospital, is I'll wash my face twice. Just because I know that you're sweating and you're wearing tons of PPE and you're fit, you're just breathing all day in this mask. So I'll double cleanse. The next thing that I do is I use these toning pads. They're by Bareface and it's by Jordan Harper. They're my favorite and they have kept my acne from getting too out of control and they've helped heal them. They're just pads that are already ready to go and you can kind of just dab on your skin and it burns a little bit and they're not like soaked but my face turns a little bit red when I use them, but I feel like that's how I know that they're working. The next thing that I do is I use a vitamin C. And I think that if you use a vitamin C, you have to use SPF, but I haven't been outside too much, so I haven't had to worry about that. This is the vitamin C I use. It's Biobaji. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. So I just do a few, actually, drops of this in. Just kind of put it all over. So I try to pull this down to my neck a little bit too. Okay. So after vitamin C, I use the Super Potent Serum by Dior. This is it. And I love it. I think it's really hydrating. It's a little bit of a splurge, um, but that's one of my go-tos after my vitamin C. And it is calming, especially after those toning pads. After that serum, I let that dry for a second. Um, and then I'll put on a moisturizer to kind of lock everything in. But I wanted to share this with you. It is a peeling solution by The Ordinary. I've already used it once this week. I think you're supposed to use it only once a week. So I'm not going to put it on right now. But I use this and it helps so much with post-acne scars. Okay, and the next thing I use is this moisturizer by Dr. Barbara Stern. So my skin breaks out easily and this has kind of been one of those moisturizers that has not irritated my skin at all. I mean, I break out, if I think about getting on a plane, I'm gonna break out. If I'm studying and I'm stressed at school, 
my face is gonna break out. I don't have that just like naturally normal skin. I have to really work to keep my skin looking okay. And then to end, I normally use this lip serum by Rodan and Fields, but I left most of my stuff in LA before all this happened. So right now I'm using this, it's called Bag Balm. And I've used this not only on my lips, but on my cuticles and then behind my ears as well. My skin behind my ears the first couple weeks got really irritated. And then last but not least, I used the new company. They have this just really good smelling fragrance and it's just calming and relaxing. I like to spray that on before I get settled in bed with a book. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching.